Okay, hello Pisces. Pisces, how you doing? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing, I'm sorry you guys, I almost bit my tongue. Um, I'm doing you guys weekly reading. So you guys like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Sit back, enjoy the reading. And I hope you can gain some clarity on something you need clarity on, okay? I hope I can help you guys. Um, only thing I was um, seeing was um, water. It's like dark water though and it's like calm water so it's like you're in calm waters right now everything's peaceful everything's calm but there's still some darkness like lurking but things are peaceful and calm right now like darkness is lurking like it's waiting so maybe there's some things that need to be healed worked on some something of that nature because there's it's dark it's still dark, but things right now are calm, peaceful. The waters, you're in calm waters right now. But there's still some, some darkness lurking. Maybe something you want to work on, heal your things, um, yourself up, or you know, you know, things of that nature. You know, could be some addictions you you want to work on or need to work on, or it's just you know with some drama just Sitting that waiting to happen. You know, it could be in your mind. It could be a mental thing. Like you're in calmer waters, but your mentality is saying there's something. You you prepare yourself for something dark, um, some type of drama to come for you. Even though you're in calm waters right now, okay? Because I'm seeing you're in calm waters, but there's dark there. So maybe your mind is just ready, prepared for something to kick off this negative, some dark energy. You know, to come towards you, to come for you. You're always maybe prepared for that. But right now, I'm telling you, you're in calm water. But maybe it's all mental for you when it comes to the dark side. All right. If you're understanding that. All right. I hope I could explain that very well. All right. So here I go. I'm going to get the cards to drop. Okay. Pisces. Let's see. Pisces energy, okay. Pisces energy, okay. Okay, these fell on the board. So we have the magician here, Aries energy. We have the will of fortune. That could be Taurus, it could be any sign. The Empress. Libra energy. The Emperor. Aries, two of cups, your energy, water energy, page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, air energy, the eight of wands, fire, Sag, Leo, Aries, the queen of wands, Leo energy, Leo always comes up in your reading, Pisces, queen of cups, Scorpio energy. The Ace of Cups, Water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Air, and the Ten of Wands is Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries. So let's see what's going on here. So um, you manifested something. I'm going to say the Magician is you. There's something you manifested. You may be receiving what you manifested. It's coming to fruition. Um, the divine has gifted you what you've manifested. Okay. Um, the empress is here. All right. And this is the love, maybe uh, abundance. Okay. Or the love of your life. You know, empress is here. Somebody you put on a pedestal. Somebody you're in love with. So. Maybe this is what you manifested, the love of your life. Somebody that you're truly in love with, you love everything about. The emperor is here. Um, you took control of it. Um, you could have went through the, the against the grain to get what you want. This could be saying the emperor is here. You took control of what you wanted. And you went in and you got it. And you went against the grain to get what you wanted. Okay? You were committed to it. Two of Cups. This is somebody you see as your true divine partner, your soulmate. 
or this is just something you were committed to, or this could even mean a business. Um, you're committed to getting some type of business. You're committed to doing what you need to do to get the success you want in your life. Okay. You're also manifesting it. Um, page of swords is here. But there's some research that needs to be done. Maybe you need to do more research. Okay. Um, and if it's concerning a person that you're in love with, that you love everything about, maybe they're very um, argumentative. Maybe, you know, yeah, they may be very argumentative when it comes to you. Or there's a lot of arguing between you and this person. But you're in love with this person. This is somebody you manifested. This is somebody you feel like is a different or divine. This is somebody you 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 want to be committed to. You you commit you commit yourself to this person. Eight of Wands. You're ready to move forward very quickly with this person when it comes to a a, a full fledged commitment. Um, you Leo energy. Leo energy is here. I tried to take it into a business. Um reading but it's not going there it's going to somebody that you're in love with somebody you're you're committed to being with you're highly attracted to this person you find this person very secure very sexy beautiful very nurturing maybe um but they're very very feisty leo energy queen of wands they're feisty Queen of Cups is here, but they're very emotional. This person has a lot of emotions for you. They're up and down in their emotions. Um, you could have, this could be a baby mother. You could have a child with this person. Um, maybe you need to seek some advice on how to move forward with this person. You might need to seek advice on how to deal, even deal with this person. Um, they hide their emotions. They have a lot of emotions for you now, but they hide the emotions that they have for you. Okay, they're not very expressive when it comes to their emotions, but they do have a lot of emotions for you, Pisces. Um, you have everything they want and need. You fulfill this person, and you truly do, but they don't express it to you. They hide it. So you are their fulfillment. Know that, Pisces. Hmm. So we have a three of swords. Somebody, there's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, who is heartbroken over you. Um, Ten of Wands, but you you seen this person as a burden and you release this burden. Okay, they're very heartbroken. This person at a distance, they could be at a distance from you. Um, or you're being told you need to release this burden. You need to release this person. This person is a burden to you. You need to release that burden. You're dealing with a um somebody from a distance at a distance from you, yeah. You need to release this person. They're very heartbroken over you, though. This somebody at a distance from you. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. They're planning, strategizing some type of offer. Okay. Virgo energy. They're planning and strategizing something. The lovers is here. This person is in love with you. They feel like they should be your divine partner. Eight of Swords, they're stuck on you. They're not trying to, you know, release you. They're stuck. They're stuck on you mentally. They're stuck on you physically. This is somebody who is not trying to release you. They're not trying to get out of a cycle when it comes to you. Okay? Um... They're mentally stuck on you. If you're not with this person, it's like mentally in their mind, they know, they feel like you are theirs mentally. So they are holding on to you mentally. They're not trying to release you. Okay? They wholeheartedly believe you're the one for them, that you should be with them. Eight of Cups. Um, you could have turned your back on this situation or you're needing to turn your back and walk away from this air sign so maybe you're still dealing with this air sign in some form or fashion and you're needing to release this person because they're going to cause you burdens with this um this fire sign 
They're going to cause a lot of burdens between you and a fire sign if you don't release this person. And they're at a distance from you. And this, the Three of Swords is a third party card. Yeah, they're a third party. You need to release this. Um, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, and this may be a mental and physical struggle for you to release this person. Um, maybe their mother, maybe they, they Queen of Cups is here. Maybe they're they have your child. Maybe they're a baby mother or something of that nature. Um, the Page of Cups. You need to Pisces. This is you. You need to use your wisdom in this situation. Follow your intuition. Use your wisdom. Be wise. Maybe that's why you're holding on because you have a child with this person. Because Page of Cups is a child as well. So maybe you have a child with this person. Um, Three of Pentacles is here. So maybe you try to work on getting along with this person stability-wise or something. A partnership or something of that nature. Or this is what this person wants. They want to work on a partnership of stability with you, but they're feeling ignored by you. They feel out the cold by you. Um, this person could be going through a financial struggle or you try to get along with this person so you they don't cause you no financial struggles. So you try to work on a partnership of stability with this person where you try to get along with this person. Um, Ace of Wands, this person has a lot of passion for you or this is you having a lot of passion um, for this um, fire sign and you wanna, you're trying to work on a passionate new beginning with this fire sign at the same time as hold on to this air sign because you're trying to get along with this person because you have a child with this person. Um, Seven of Pentacles, you're looking into all kinds of options maybe on how to make things work with this person stability wise. Um, you're you're having all kind of creative I passionate ideas. Maybe concerning um, a business, because we do have the emperor up here. So maybe your focus is on your business. And you're looking at all kinds of options um, concerning your business, stability-wise. Oh my God. The chariot, yeah, on how to charge for it successfully concerning your stability. Okay. Yeah, seven of cups is here. Yeah, you're looking at all kinds of options. Mm hmm how to charge for it successfully and there is a lot you could, there's a lot there's a lot here a lot of cups here for you to look towards you got a lot of options you can look into so there is a lot of options for you to look into concerning that all right or you're going to have a lot of doors that's going to open up so you will so you will be charging for it successfully when it comes to your business all right All right, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Um, I hope I can help you guys. Um, this is your weekly. I'll see you guys next week.